beef thingy into the... Split it in half. Split it in half. The pants. Ugh. You can see your hands will get a little greasy and little ramen noodles on them and barbecue sauce. Okay, put that in there. Well, don't pound it down. You make don't don't pound it down. Um, you like squish it down so it can be perfectly baked <gasps> and uh, you have no holes. If there's any holes, stick some. You want it perfect. The perfect is the best. That's what my people always say. I'm going to show them what it looks like. It's not done yet. This is what it looks like when you pound it down. Don't pound it down. That's what it looks like. And then you put more barbecue sauce on it. You Get the bacon. Bacon? Mm -hmm. What bacon? From this morning. And then you get bacon from this morning. Okay. <laughs> then you get bacon. We use this bacon from this morning. And then you like spread the barbecue sauce out to make it. No, you can make it like this. Right. Or you can spread it out. So the barbecue sauce can all over the place if you like barbecue sauce. We love barbecue sauce. We put barbecue barbecue sauce on okay. our pork chop. Do this one. My hands are so cold. And then you put bacon on it. Just to freak. There you go. Can I show them what it looks like? A lot of dead air time. Because the host. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you what it looks like. You need to put bacon on each one. And the barbecue sauce, you just spread it out because it just makes the bacon stick better on it. You going to show them? Yeah. I got to put it in the oven. Mm. That's what it looks like. And in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes until it's cooked to 160 degrees. Mm -hmm. so We're waiting on two things. Our dessert and I'm gonna end it. Or you're gonna have them watch you eat a banana. Enjoy me watching me eating banana. The next video is a, going to be about the jello thingies, I'm pretty sure. You'll find out. Hey guys. Bye.